New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Laura Staus, Rosenberg. So Young you Valerian Steele He's from Insecure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Elon the Noel. cleanup man is what, here. What up, Elon bro? Noel, also Elon from Noel. the first purge. The first I never purge, saw that. man. That's that the new it. one. Well, it's out right it's now. New, right, because it's new. It's the first. It's the first purge. So it's the Wait, prequel. It's a prequel, man. It's the prequel. So what? You never before? saw any of the purges? Never. Okay, cool. I did. We just saw the trailer actually. For we just watched the trailer for this one. So basically, Ebro, the purge has been going on for several years. What number is this? The fourth. It's the fourth. So the fourth one. I understand the concept. You know the concept. So this one's explaining. They never explained how it started and that's this the is the, they go back to like the first purge okay so without spoiling the movie is it political at all in this in this one i mean it's, it's, it's about survival it's about you so know. there's no because i know right now people on social media the super conspiracy theorists feel like we living in the purge right now yeah i mean it goes to uh, the beginning it goes to the beginning of the franchise yeah, so the purge good. for you is 12 hours of legalized crime and violence and the whole idea the theory the government has at least adopted is that it allows for people to vent their baser instincts for one day of the year in order to get crime down for the remaining days of the year so that's the idea that the and government you're eliminating is, the week that's the, the idea that the government espouses right. but yeah there are some conspiracy theorists that, that say that okay well this is the opportunity to you know you know eliminate the week the marginalized people, some of the See, poor people. See, you're still talking about the movie. I'm talking about in real life. In real life. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that's the scariest thing about this is because it kind of deals with a lot of the things that we have in fears of our society right now. Like, Listen, what the purge that I saw about? was in the suburbs. This one, they were in the projects. It's in the hood, man. It's I was like, streets. wait, what? Right, yeah. So it speaks to a lot of people that look like all of us in this room, man. So it's going mm. to be intense. You like these movies? Um, I've only seen the first Purge, and I did like it actually. I, I like okay. it. I like it because it's, it's like sort of a horror, but it's a, it's got a theme, and it's got like a drama. I like it. It's it's how a far, multi how far out is the gore and, and violence? Like how I don't know. You what do you how would you describe it? Level I mean, of violence. It, it, there's, there's, it's, it's violence. Like it's saw bloody. levels. Like no, no not, not necessarily saw. saw levels. People's body parts being sawed off. I mean, there there are things that are happening that sh that are going to live with you for 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 a little while after the movie. I think the crazy maybe shot off. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, mean, it's, it's, I mean yeah. it's, it's all about, I mean, people, the thing about it is the first one. So people don't know the context of what's to occur. So there's all type of creative ways that they're trying to, like, protect themselves by, you know. Um, but the concepts to me in this one is what makes this one the scariest one. Like, it, the, the, the ideas behind it, not mm. necessarily the jump scares. You got the mask, you got all that little, you know, the fright or whatnot, but... It's the idea behind it. It's so grounded in reality that's like, okay, cool. Yeah, you see, I, I see in the trailer, like, you see the government, the president talking to the nation. Yeah. And just like, yeah, with, with what we're living in right now. What's the president look like in the movie? Big orange, orange hair. The orange? Yeah. <laughs> the orange. Like so big they went with the cat. orange one. They went with the orange one. Mm. Yeah. No, no, it didn't. It didn't look like him. But it, it right. just it seemed like a scary concept for right now. Those movies. It, the time we're living in, everything's extra scary right now because real life's extra scary. Right. Yeah. Well, and it's also like we said last week. We're living in crazy town right now. So even in real life, when people are like, ah, I don't know if that's really what's happening. You're like. How are you so sure? We never thought this would be happening right. either. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm looking at you like, oh, so now you're in a movie. Mm -hmm. what? I mean, but that's what movies do. You know, we we, we, we highlight certain issues and we mm -hmm. try to emphasize what's real life. We try mm -hmm. to bring mm -hmm. no story. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what he's questioning. Is this your first you suspense got, thriller or like horror movie? It's mm -hmm. my first movie, period. My major, major. Yeah, this, oh, is, wow. this is the first. What did you do before Insecure? Uh, I was on a show called The Hustle. For mm -hmm. a year, then okay. other than that, I watched a lot of movies. I kicked it. <laughs> pro I, movie watcher. I'm a pro movie watcher. <laughs> yeah. I, was you do in, for I, was in, I was in Atlanta. I was selling retail. I was at Brooks Brothers for a while. Oh. I was at Tommy Hilfiger. I was. I went to school out here, man. I was um, just. I was. Where are you originally it. from? I was. I, I spent ten years in Southside Jamaica, Queens. Okay. Queens. What up? And, uh, I spent a lot of lot of time in Decatur, Georgia, and Stone Mountain. Okay. And then I went to school out here, and I moved back. to Where'd Georgia. you go to school here? I was at I was at NYU for two years. What? Yeah, I was at NYU for two years. I was at Morehouse prior to that. Best decision of my life. I loved it there. But then, um, you know, after after college, I moved back to Atlanta. And prior to that, I mean, after that is when I got um, on the show called The Hustle. Y'all ever heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So that was, that was Fuse's first scripted television right. show. Yep. We did that, and then after that, Insecure. How did and you? The first how, yeah, how did that happen? The whole Insecure thing. Uh, auditions, man. Just constantly auditioning and trying to. You know, it's competitive out there in, in these L.A. streets, bro. Like, Did uh, you know Issa Rae before uh, Insecure? I didn't. Or no? I knew about Awkward Black Girl. I knew about the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a couple of my homegirls, they put me on to that. But then 
that sort of just took off in a way that I hadn't even expected. And then they, you get on Insecure, and um, talk to us about the moment you got to be the, you know, the cleanup man. The you cleanup know what man. Mean? You know the what I mean? I don't know. Richard I don't know M. Down, cl- down. You know what I mean? Dick him down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, nah. <sighs> Deep talk, talk about that. You know what I mean? Talk about the Talk about the The characters. moment you learn that, you know. This what is, the character would be? Yeah, I mean, so I read the first script, and that's the thing about it is you never know what is going to ultimately happen after the first script. So I read it. They decided to, bring, to, decided to bring me back after the pilot, and he had a nice little arc to him. But he's not the cleanup man, though, bro. Like he 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 was he's the he was the ex boyfriend. They knew each other well before that whole relationship happened, and you know she she made some bad decisions that I would say that in in first season he kind of um, you know were, were advantageous for him. But you know she needed to clean. You know she was going through something. That's what the cleanup man is. Even if it was the ex, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying. You're coming through for the. At a, a weird time, yeah, definitely weird to time. To unsheath the sword and do, you know what I'm saying? You came for a specific mission. Oh, you were signed boy. for a specific He's mission. He's into her though, man. It's, it's, you think it, so? it just so no, happened. He, he, it I just so happened that you know they they. It was a bad timing. It was real bad, real well, bad no, timing. I mean, Something that I would never do. I have you know in, on in, in real life. So you know. well, have you would sex never, with a girl who's put my out. spoon into another man's pudding, in, 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 so to speak. I, never, I would not have that. Happen. But they were broken up. They were on mm. the cusp of that, yeah. yeah so you wouldn't. Well, even, she cheated first, and then they broke up. Right? Then they so, broke up, rightfully so. So you wouldn't even in a cusp situation. You're not doing it. Nah, nah. What, what's the point? It's a, it's what a, if like, What if the woman tells you like, Nah, nothing. no, it's nothing. It's nothing. Not. Yeah, what I mean, if we're like we're separated? Many, we're living together. We're working are. out the living situation right now, but I'm separated. I'm not messing with it. It's just it's too many. It's it's a lot. It's abundant. We life. It's a lot. It's a lot. Of There's people out everywhere. Here. There, yeah, possibly. Yeah. This is spoken by a man who does well. Yeah, because I know I know I could speak for men who. Are so little, you, so what you're saying is you would you would go in. It depends what the opportunity is. Yeah. If the opportunity is someone who you're really attracted to and is really bad, uh-huh. and you know the opportunity is there. Yeah. For most people who are not yourself necessarily, uh-huh. they have to weigh, weigh risk versus reward oh, and say there are risks here, but how good's the reward? Yeah, yeah, I that think, sounds like survival. I think when you have <laughs> options, right? It's like that's what he's talking yeah. about. Right. He's if talking you have options, options galore, yeah. that that changes it up a little bit. I think it's more of the mentality, though. It's you know, it's your perspective. You know, if, if you feel that you have options, you 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 end up having options. See, now he's it's all relative. Guru talk. See, now he's dropping nah. guru talk. It's different. But that's August twelfth, season three, first purge though, July fourth, Wednesday. I think it's a Wednesday. Yep. It's, it's next Wednesday. Be, yeah, man. So, it's, wait, it's the really last time we saw you and Issa Rae together was at the diner. Is the, that the last, last time? Scene? No, she shows up at the end of the season at my character's apartment. Yes. She's going to be living with him, and that's yes. where we open up. Yes. Season three. Yes. August 12th. August 12th. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. man. Now, what was the, what, sorry, Laura, what was the reaction like? From the, I know that you know we live in a world now where on social media people treat characters on television shows like it's real like life. It's real life, right? So yeah, how do you do? People accost you on the street. Is everything okay? Like it's what, usually love. It's usually love. Um, usually, yeah. Does that imply that there have been a couple things that were like? I'm not on social media, so I don't know. It, it probably would be different if I was on social media. No people, social media. I pretty much I'm only running into people fans of the show when I'm out. And I don't. I, I I I live in LA. I don't really go out too much. So like, wow. Well, wh- I kind of just. I kind of just. You know, TSA. They always holler at me, but it's usually love from them. <laughs> why did you choose? Uh, TSA is always talking to me. Why did you choose to stay away from social media altogether? Love it. It's just. Yeah, I don't know. It's just. It's. I, I like social media for other people, but for me, I'm sort of a private dude. I kind of like in between action and cut. That's kind of where I want to live in a public life. But uh. So do you just browse, but not comment I, I or I do like? browse. I can't lie. Like I do browse. I look at food. I look at all the type of things. Do you I want have to say, accounts. You have a login. I don't have an I don't have, you an have account. a login. No, I have a so you could be public. You could just do things. You can, you don't have to have an account. You yeah. Just, if if people are public, like if you're you can private, just I can't look at I can't yeah, I can't you have do to that. Log I can't create. Instagram, don't you? No, you, no, you, you just don't. go to Instagram.com slash That's what whatever, a lot of people don't know. At. Yeah, you look at the public profiles or whatever. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. Good for that is good for you. You get to enjoy do you do you do, are people jealous of you? Like jealous man, of like not having it? Yeah. Um I'll tell you right now, I am. Let's start there. I'm jealous of you, yes. Yeah. I mean, because you feel like you have to have it for your job, right? Yeah, but then I feel like those of us who say that, we're making an excuse. Do we really have to? But y'all like, I mean, you like having it. So I feel like Mm. if you like having it, you you should have it. You shouldn't like. I feel like in my job, I have to correspond with people. Mm. And it it keeps you in a no. Mm. It's a source of news. You say no? I think it's excuses. I really do. We talk, we talk four, seven, and eight hours a day. To a big public audience, mm. 
do we really have to communicate more with people? Really? Sounds like. But then you wouldn't have your. You wouldn't own your one to one with your audience. Your only. Your only communication with your audience would be through a platform that somebody employed you. So you would never control that relationship. Sure, but I, you could put up your own podcast. You could do other things on your own to, yeah, how to communicate. How would you correspond? Just by putting up more things for them specifically. I'm not. I'm not saying. You can no, do I'm it. I'm into the idea. I'm actually like, okay, oh, tell me yeah, more. I just, How would I just, we now? Well, you I'm, know, like, because the, the I'm same glad way y'all are talking about this, by the way. Well, no, but the same way we <laughs> you, pick you up you the phone. You spawned a very interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, the same way we pick yeah. up the phone. Like in radio, I, I pick we pick up the phone or we talk to people in clubs or. That's how we get information and know how the audience feels about things because we're seeing how they feel. But mm. Ilan, so, you, but you still, but you still get to feel like you said you run into people in real life. I run into people in real life. I get group group texts. People are always like, you know, uh, giving me the up to date. They're keeping telling you, you. You still watch? You let me know what's going on. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, because it's a news source, and like Ebro was saying, like if you do have social media, you do sort of get to control the narrative about you. Versus if you don't, and it's kind of just like they could be saying anything, and then. About how I feel about who I'm with or anything like that, and I don't, I can't plug in and say. Yeah, it doesn't that. affect but then, them. You know, whatever. So who are you with? Let's talk about it. <laughs> I'm single, bro. Okay. I'm Just check it. You threw it out there, so I, didn't, <laughs> I don't really care. If, but you asked me that in question, theory. and now I can control the narrative Boom. without having social media. So it's proving who's my point. point. My yeah. point. It's your point. You're doing interviews, right? That's good enough. You yeah. don't need social media. Yeah, bro. And it's working nice. out for him. He's on Insecure. He's in the Purge, the first Purge, which comes out on July fourth. It's obviously all working out for him. Without well, and there's also actors that I, other actors that I know personally that don't also have social media because they want people to only know their character. As the characters, yeah, right. And so then it kind of hurts the job in a way because now when you're trying to be a character, they're wanting, they're just looking at your person and they never get into the character. It's hard, yeah. It's hard to suspend the disbelief that that person can be who that is. You know, sometimes. Yeah, if you, I've heard, if I've heard so, that from actors too. Yeah, that can be the case too. Anything? Any other movies coming? Uh, this one right now, we got a couple. We, I did a romantic comedy, which was like therapy after the first purge, called The Weekend by by Stella Maggie. She's a, a, a great director from Canada, and uh, that's gonna be coming out in 2019 probably. And that was relaxing and fun oh, after man, something so we intense. Were picking persimmons in in, in an orchard. <laughs> No, no, making no, out. No loading guns, none of that. Yeah, it's yeah. just, just like real. No, no hand to hand combat. No bullet <laughs> shells filing. No, no gun smoke. None of that stuff. It was just real relaxed. Oh, I that's like nice. A, for you know, had I was a photographer from Montreal. You know, no smoke. You speak at French. All. Uh, he did. Yeah, he spoke a little, a little French. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't speak yeah. no French. If that's what you about to go with, I mean, so I'm yeah, Panamanian. <laughs> right. I know you speak Spanish. I'm not. I'm not fluent. I'm not nice. fluent. Yeah. Right, so is, when I, you're, I'm when a you're master at, of English. When you, yo, your English. I was gonna say on point. Your yeah. English has been tremendous the whole time. Thank you. I've never, never questioned it. Appreciate that, acting, man. <laughs> when you're acting, right, and you're playing a character that speaks another language, and mm -hmm. you're saying lines in French. Mm -hmm. Or did you not say lines in front? Nah, it's just you. You got mild accent here. Got yeah, yeah. Twang, little twang. He was Anglophone, so he spoke of you know he had American. Got it. Got yeah, it. Got it got Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Look, man, Elon. Uh, how do you Ella, say Elon? Elon. Elon. Like elephant. Elon Noel. Ella. Ella. Elon Noel. So, and, and by the way, so that's a Panamanian Panamanian name or no? Noel is sort of like the Hispanic idea. I, for, um, funny as it is. Elon is French. That's why I thought you were Haitian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's French. I have my mom, you know, black moms, they just be okay, cool. We'll so she that. just liked it. And when it she got an apostrophe it. in it, wow, it got a little apostrophe. Like the I didn't know I had an apostrophe until I was like 15. My boy, I was going to DMV. He was like, son, you, you see, you got a. It, because for some reason, when I was young, I didn't know how to write it or something like that. So when you tell I was people, like special ed, huh? if you have to tell someone how to spell your name, yeah. What do you say? How do you spell your name? Now these days, I, st I stick out my chest and I be like, yo, why apostrophe L-A-N? Make sure you hit that. <laughs> Even when you plug it in your phone, I'm going to I'm gonna need to see I'm gonna need to see that apostrophe. Right, you don't want to be disrespected. Phone. Yeah. In the it phone. took a while for me to get to that. And yeah. you know where to find it right away. Boom, apostrophe is right here. Right below the asterisk, bro. Eli <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Noel, man. Love, bro. It was a pleasure. Nice to meet you, man. Congratulations. The Purge, July 4th. Yes, yes, yes.